us. Yes. Just and my name is Lekme Obasogye and today I'm here with uh, Ms. Deborah Ogumolati. Uh, she's one of those women who are shaping what we normally see as male-dominated professions. Uh, she's a lady shoemaker in Vene City. I've been in this profession for the past four years. The training took me two years and eight months then. This place is barely two years now, so all together. What motivated you to start this profession? It's actually um, passion, ah, yes, that's what I would say, because uh, it's been a challenging journey. And besides, so before I came into this profession, I'm actually a graduate of environmental engineering. Yes. So after which I try to look for a job after my youth service I try to look for a job everywhere. Mm -hmm. Then eventually I got um, a bank job and I worked for almost two years. Then after then I started searching for a job again because mm -hmm. I'm now a mother mm -hmm. and uh, I can't cope with the stress of uh, mm -hmm. bank and mm -hmm. all that. So I had to do something mm -hmm. that will be you know. Will keep me busy mm. also um, will make me to be a supportive wife yeah mm -hmm. so not just stay home no mother. just stay home mother so I had to go into a lot of craft work I did makeup I did a lot of things I did a lot of craft work and during uh, the process of teaching people also giving back what have uh, what I was doing then. Um, one of my students introduced me to shoemaking. Yes, one of my students that uh, I was teaching how to bead, I was teaching makeup um, during one of after one of the school and um, one of the classes. So she told me that there's a seminar being organized in their church and. Um, is for shoe making and soap making and some other things mm. that would I like to so I said, ah, why not? Mm. Because she sees me wearing all this high all these beautiful shoes, so she felt I would like shoes then. I was there, well, it was a two weeks training. Then after two weeks, I, decided, I discovered that I was able to make sandals for myself, I was able to make a shoe for myself. I said, oh, this is what I want to do, you know. It was like as if I was in a, in a journey of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. And when this happened, I knew that was what I wanted to do. So I started pursuing it. I started learning from different shoemakers. I did a lot of online research and all that. I knew that there's this um, thing about made in Nigeria product that people think that they cannot stand the test of time. So yes. people don't want to really venture into it. And our people don't even like to patronize made in Nigeria yes. products. They don't and so I know that made in Nigeria goals. Yes, I know that if I'm going to succeed in this journey, I have to work twice as hard and it's also a male dominated um, profession. profession. So I decided I have to go all out. So I did a lot of research, I did a lot of online training, I did a lot of training from one place to another. So I take, I also take opportunity, you know, there was this um, skill um, empowerment program organized by the federal government one time like that. So it was a five month program. During the course of that program, it also taught us a lot of things. So I gained from there, I put all what I've learned together. So I said it is time for me to start. Ah, you have so much passion in this profession. Yes, yes. Should make it. Yes, it is passion that actually kept me going because okay. uh, at the point people don't believe okay. you know, in a woman doing yes. this. Yes. Have you ever so, met any woman doing this? Um, actually, during the time during my training period, mm -hmm. I met some people who were training together. Also female. Also female. Yes, like I was the um, assistant class rep. The class rep is also a female, mm -hmm. and she's still doing it now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's not all of us that are still doing it, but at least the two of us are still in the profession. 
she's not doing it like I'm doing it right now, yeah. but she's yeah. still yeah. doing something about it. So you are the one that produce all these shoes here? Yeah? Yes, yes. I also have and I have workers that I trained actually to be able to work the way I do because I've been able to create a niche for myself. Yeah. Quality, style and you know, I'm artistic in nature. So when I draft my product out, I make sure I follow suit what I draft and I teach my workers how to do it. So I'm always at the beginning and the finishing of my product. So you have students who are learning how to do Yes, I have students um, um, training right now. Today is the graduation actually. Yeah. So they are, they are our, our, yes, they are, they are still trying to finish up their work. So after which we are going to present their certificate, it lasts for a month. So it is um, actually my way of giving back to the, ah, to the community. As a lady shoemaker, okay. what are your challenges? Because this profession is something that is dominated by men. Yes, they really the you know the society is beginning to accept the fact that. Um, Female can do a lot of things right now. So, in the beginning, it was a challenge because people don't believe in you. They don't believe that a woman can do it and do it very well. Well, so when they yeah. come, they like say things, but I don't allow those kind of things to, you know, to bring me down. I just like move on with it, move on with my vision and what I want to do. So I don't allow anything to put me down yeah yes. have you ever experienced any event whereby somebody will come here and try to be like having doubts about your a work? lot a lot a lot some people would even enter and say they will look at them and like oh they are beautiful they are they are very nice um which which make is it gucci is it this and I'll tell them it's made in Nigeria product, it's not Gucci, it's not all those big designers that you know. And once they hear that, they'll say, Made in Nigeria product. No, 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 I'm not buying, I'm not buying it made in Nigeria product. You know, there is a certain belief, and what I'm out for is to change the narrative, to change the fact that yeah. they don't believe in made in Nigeria yeah, product. Yeah. So I am doing that's why I told you earlier that. I have to work twice as hard to make sure to make sure that to convince people to convince people. So I have to lecture in. You know, I told the guy that made them product are good. That we are putting we are putting efforts into making them acceptable in society. I give them money back guarantee. I will tell them it's guaranteed. I'm here. If anything happens to the product, come back. But, yeah. I use the best quality materials yeah, to make it. Use, so yeah. I try to convince them in the best possible uh, possible way. Some people leave, some people still stay. But I, to the glory of God, my clients keep coming back. back. Yeah. Once they go with one, they come back to buy two. They will refer people and things like that. So, by you those know, reasons, in Nigeria, it's like they don't add value to uh, Nigeria made products. Um, do you have your own brand, like a name? Yes, yes. Okay, my what's brand the name, name is the Wills Collection. Debbie, Debbie Wills Collection, collection is okay. a coin from my name and my husband's name. So, okay. just you know. So if people walk in and say they want Gucci, they want Prada, so do you normally introduce your brand to them and let them understand that yes, it's yes. your brand? I tell them that it's made in Nigeria product and it's Debbie Wills product. Okay. So they kind of look at it because it's imprinted in it, they, they see it already. So when you were practicing this shoe making thing, um, what was the reaction of your family? Mm. You were supportive. Your husband. My husband was this supportive. You know, mm. he's always proud wearing my product. In fact, he was he is my number one supporter. He's, he does it. He has dished all his shoes, all his designer shoes. And right now, he wears my shoe wherever he goes to. Yeah. And when they ask who made these shoes. He's always proud to say my husband oh, and my wife. These yes. shoes are very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And just imagine what type of machine are you using to, to make these shoes? Can you show us? 
Yes, actually, the reality is handmade. They are all handmade from start to finish. The only other thing I use is sewing machine, you know. So, so it's so, handmade. So, yes, even some sewing, they are hand stitching. Yes. So, few times I just use machines to, they are all made with hand tools. Really? Yes. Okay, show us yes. some of your shoes. We have this one. This one is for female. We also have uh, the male version of it. This is an ass. A man and a woman can. So do you mean you cut and all this with? Yes, with hand, with scissors. With all your hands. Scissors. We have cutting knife. We have so that you knife. sew this with French. No, this one is actually sewn with hand. Yes. Are this one is hand sewn. Yes. This one is hand sewn. We have shoes oh, as well. Oh, we have another one. Why about it? We have a lot of so artistic made. design. We have the male. This is a male, a male product. This was crafted. You know, was drawn out first, sketched out by me before we converted it to this product. We have we, other products. So what did, you, what did you do? Look, you grow this or something? What is this? This one is leather. We use leather. We use another material called Nora for the sole. Sometimes we use um, leather sole. Mm. Sometimes, like this one, we use leather insole. Mm. We have something called insole and outsole. This is the insole. The insole is leather. The upper is leather. Everything you see here is leather. But here, because of the weather condition and everything, and mm. the Nigeria. Yes, we have to uh, put this product. Like so my product, yes, is like rubber. It's called you know, okay. So it's it lasts. It doesn't expire. So foreign uh, soul, they even expire. You know, you are you, know? you are. It's like you are making the shoes to suit to the weather. To suit the weather in Nigeria. In Nigeria, yes. yes. Very beautiful and uh, yes, this is another one. Quality. This is another How much? One. This we sell our sandals and uh, slippers goes between twenty to twenty five. So between twenty. Yes. So if twenty thousand this... is the lowest. Yes. Yes. Of what we sell. So you don't have anyone like ten thousand. Yes, we have one. for for ladies. For ladies, you know, for ladies we use less leather. You know. Okay. Use. We, 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 it's because you know how much leather we have to okay. use in yeah. this one, yeah. like this one now. This one looks very quality to me. Yes, yes. I this, this is leather. This, this is made in Nigeria. Yes, it's made in Nigeria. We have a lot of others, like one this is for female. This for female. Very simple. We have this one for female. For female, this one is 20,000 naira. For female, this one is 15, this one is 15. So for female, so you made this? Yes. From start to Made finish. in Nigeria yes. by Debbie, Debbie Wells. Debbie Wells. Yes. Just look at this. Yes. Nigeria. Nigeria. Made in Nigeria. And made by a Nigerian woman. Hmm. This is a platform shoe. Also for male. Hey, for for female. female. Yes, also for female. All and me. All and me. Are you serious? Yes. We have a lot more. A lot more. They are very beautiful quality yes. and neat. This is you another one. It's an artistic design. They all look beautiful. beautiful. Yes. You also make something for children. Yes, we have for children. From, from eight months upwards. We make for them. We also make for babies, but we use softer materials to make for babies. We use um, something like goat skin leather, very soft. Sheep skin leather. Sheep skin is actually softer than goat skin, so we use those kind of leather. We also use materials that are not even leathers to make for children yeah. because so that it should not be ash on their skin. So those ones have to be on request. Because, um, so, do you think uh, the ones for children also cost 20000 and No, more? no, no. Okay. Yeah. Because we use less materials, we use less leather to make for children. So, those ones are uh, cheaper. cheaper. Like we also make like school that. shoes. We make sh school shoes for school children. Like this. For school children. You made this? 
yes like um i'm i'm the one making school shows for Indonesian school for example they are uh, second primary and secondary school it's like a contract they give you the contract yes, yes, every year for them every year i designed it like how many pieces um the last time i made more than two thousand pieces yes so right now i'm on 200 pieces I also make for other schools as well. Okay, they are giving you the contract for other schools yes. to produce it, and, and they are cost I customize it for the schools yes. specifically for the schools. Specifically, so you don't see that style design. The design, the design for Ibenedium, for example, is not here. So I don't uh, sell for this sell. Yes, you are truly a professional. I can't believe a woman can design shoes so neat and beautiful quality like this in Nigeria. That is why we have to trust Nigeria made products. And they are durable. I've yes. seen my customers this way like um by November we're gonna be two years. So some people that patronized us earlier when we resumed that just you know they were doubting actually but they still patronized us. They kept coming back. back. So yes. I've used their own for. And I've been selling before we opened this place. You know, I've been a shoemaker for for some time now. So I've sold for a lot of people even before I opened this place. When I started, those people I sold shoe for, they are still wearing some of them are still wearing their shoes. Because you know why? You mm -hmm. know why? Because we are making these shoes based on our weather. Like yes. what you said before, you said you use plastic because it's raining and the, the roads here are really bad. You are making it based on the weather in Nigeria. So you can't compare it with shoes made in the cold yes. weather or made in a uh, we, you know, winter, snowy weather. Yes. Funny enough, some, uh, some, um, some clients still want everything leather. They still want their soul to be leather. Mm -hmm. They want everything. We have stuff like that so that even this the outsole is leather. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. Show, 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 show. Okay. This is all leather right now. Mm -hmm. It's only this eel that is not. This is the leather outsole. That must be expensive. For everything to be leather. not here these these are samples all of them they are samples because if they are not your size you can actually order for your size and it will be made for you in a week when you get it so you also we make boots we yes. made it yes we make boots I mean, this is called desert desert boots for um military men okay they're doing a knit very durable This one is how much? This one, because we use Nigeria, we use what is um, is cow skin that are made in Nigeria. Yeah, really cow skin. Yeah. Yes, it is not as expensive. It's about twenty five. Good. This really good. This really good. I can't believe. Something like this is 
existing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But we used to have like a bar made shoes yes, and all yes. that. Yes. We still have There's it, nothing right? actually wrong with a bar made shoe. It's mm -hmm. just. No, it's the name, you mm -hmm. know, the label. They label it as yes. something that is Yes, fake it's because fear. they are not durable. People, they don't take time in making this thing. But right now, mm -hmm. things are changing. Yes. They are changing the narrative. Yeah, People are begin to, beginning to put quality in things. what they yeah. do. Mm -hmm. So everything is changing. These are your students, right? Yes, yes. they are the graduating students. Actually, graduating today is a one month program. Only one month. Only one month. So that they will be able to make simple, simple pass and silence. From now on, they can continue, you know, to learn more. And it's just a, a basic training. Okay. You know, so they will go ahead and do you know, for the advanced level. Yes. We also organize the advanced level. If they are interested, they can. You know, decide to continue, but right now we are done with the first phase, which is the um, introduction to okay. shooting. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, can I see anyone? Yes, yes. This is the sandals that the maid she made. It. She yes, okay. she made this, and she made this. And you know the the good thing about this. So within one month, she will be able to make a shoe like this. Yes. You see. The beautiful thing about this thing is they handcrafted from the beginning. Mm -hmm. One of the students actually designed this. It was we, we, we made uh, a dummy of it. Mm -hmm. So I chose the best design and said that everybody should make it. So they made it from scratch to mm -hmm. finish. That's the beautiful thing about it. They didn't collect any uh, any already mm -hmm. made pattern okay. from anywhere yeah. so they may they there's this pattern cutting and design that actually put them through that made them to be able to do this they did the patterning yeah. and they also did the, the cut mm -hmm. they made it from the sewing mm -hmm. even the sewing okay. and the sewing this, this, this one is hard eh? yes, yes. and sewn this okay. mm -hmm. that's how they do so this one, so this one looks like the vet. Oh, the vet yes, 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 yes. They use a velvet material to wrap the things. So this is another method. I want them to know different methods, different approach. That's why I said, okay, just uh, do this. There are two different uh, lasting method also. What are your experience here? You guys should tell me something about your experience. Here for this one month training. Before now, yeah. I didn't have any experience at all, like sewing anything, hand sewing, or, or designing, or drawing out patterns. I remember my very first um, design that I drew out. All of them they laughed at me because it was really very funny. It was really very funny. But when I when I started practicing more, and then my design for my sandals it came out better because with practice, yeah. I continued practicing. So before now, mm -hmm. I didn't have any knowledge of design. I didn't have any knowledge of no experience at, at all. all. Uh, at all. Okay. One so month, within one month, you were able to, to design yeah, something yeah, for yeah, yourself. Yes, and yes. also design for her too, for her store or just for you. No, just for us because we use the trays okay, to okay. measure it, and then some of us we also because I did another slippers for my mom. Okay. So I can do for somebody now of this same design. Really? I can, yes, I can measure your. Can you can and, you make something like this for me? This shoe. Are you guys also making no. heels? This is an advanced, advanced oh, okay, yes, stage. Yes. This is an advanced stage. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is just the basic so, one, like sandals, flat yes, shoes, flat slippers. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's nice. Within one more, that's a quick one. Yes, yes. We actually have three females. Yeah. One is in camp right now, so she has to yeah. herself. Yeah. The other one left earlier. Yeah. You know, okay. so we have three. I so think three females. Female. Female. Okay. Okay. Four. Yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. can just learn work for one month, be able to make this, which yeah. means you can always put food on top of your table with yeah. this type of profession. Very fast. And then you do something with your life. Oh my god, wonderful, wonderful. So you guys are graduating today. The yes, uh, they are also students. Most of them they are university of a 
this uh, student so university of Bino. not doing this at part time yes. Yeah. yeah so even while in school they yeah. can help themselves to stuff like that yeah. and when they come out yeah. they don't need to look for start looking yeah. for jobs and yeah. everything except they, they will just want to be professional in, in the field that uh, yeah. they actually so you some of you guys are in the university yes yeah. mm -hmm. and you you two yes. what should I are you okay? What program are you in? I'm in the fine office. Fine artist? And mm -hmm. you? Studying mass communication. Mass communication are you? I'm a fine artist. Fine artist. Are you? I'm a culture artist. You guys are oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, academia, I would say. So I'm also trying to get some professional experience outside your school work, right? Mm -hmm. That's and a great for, Ah, she's a graduate. She's a yes, graduate? Yes, yes, I am. From what program? Biochemistry. Oh, <laughs> I know very far. You're supposed to be in the lab. Yes, I know, but I choose not to because I started my own business selling shoes and it's the reason why I came for the program because I wanted to learn how to yeah. make the shoes. So.